Hello, Fran. Hi there, Nora. How are you? Good. Uh, can you tell me a little bit what it is, uh, how different is it for you to build a product like Match.com, thinking for women and, you know, as a woman, how, how different is it to build that kind of product? As opposed to building a product for a guy? Yeah, thinking for people who are women. Well, you know, I think what any time anybody wants to build a product, they need to think carefully about who's going to use the product. And it could be men, it could be women, it could be children, it could be older people. And honestly, if you take the discipline of thinking who's going to use the product and then start to think about their mindset, their lifestyle, and so on, it can bring tremendous clarity. So for example, when we were building Match.com, we actually had profiles of both women and men. And so we said, okay, what's a 28-year-old woman, woman like? What, what is her experience? What is she dealing with? What is she concerned about on the internet? But we also would do it for 40-year-old guys and really try and think through who are our major segments and what are the issues in their lifestyle or the way that they look at things that's important. What do you think of the main challenges for you know, the next generation of women entrepreneurs, like the ones you're advising right now? You know, I think women are at the brink of doing the things that they need to do. And what they need to do is they need to ask and get what they need. And not be afraid of door slamming in their faces because they're marketing something to women. They've got to just take it on and say, look, this is a big audience. They've got great buying power. My product is going to uh, be good for this, that, or the other reason. Yeah. And just kind of go for it. For yourself, your, your career, what do you think was your, you know, biggest challenge and uh, as a woman and what advice would you have, you know, if you were to do it again? Yeah, so I've made my share of mistakes, but I would think that one of the things I learned is that it, the showing the vulnerability that you need help is really important. And once you ask for help, it's amazing how many people will really step up and deliver. And then once that happens, then you help them and it's a really good, what I call a virtuous cycle. Thank you so much. Okay.